All right, what's up, YouTubers? So yeah, like I said before, we're gonna have to take some time to get used to like the combat and stuff, and whatever other mechanics this game has, because I don't remember anything. Uh, and it looks like we left off where we're just about to take off on the ship. I don't know what to expect after that. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. Oh. Damn, okay. Okay. Right now I'm playing as is Sarah. She has no aerial attacks. Cool. Yeah, during my hiatus, I was playing another Tales game. Um, Zelia. Is this Zelia? Yeah. The game that allows you to have, like, what, 16 different skills? And coming back to this game where I'm only stuck with six is not pleasant. But it's definitely a feeling I'll have to get used to again. Not looking, not looking forward to that. Stone. Wow, this is all I have, huh? Okay, then we're good. I'm just gonna start off with the story again because I don't know what else to do. All right, here we go. This is the futuristic side of the game. Well, it's the moment of truth. This lady better hold together once we're up in the air. La, don't say that. You're going to jinx us. Speaking of which, Alfin, this bucket of bolts got a name? A name? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure she ever had one. I never really thought about it. Well, after all the trouble we went through to find her, we should give her one, right? I was thinking something like... Thaw Nights. Huh? Oh. It means owl in the ancient tongue. Literally, the one drawn to the skies. Okay. I like it. Sounds perfect for our little escapade. Not sure I'm completely convinced, but... Well, it's as good a name as any. From now on, she'll be known as the Fall Knights. Okay, people. We have two goals. First, we need to get to Lenigus and make the Renans finally leave Dana alone. And then, we need to figure out the truth behind Shion's thorns and find a way to save her. Sound good? All right. And let's go. Yeah, I pretty much forced myself to start the game again. But I need to finish this shit, man. I can't start more games with all of this stuff going on finished. It's, it's, I'm gonna lose my mind if I do that. The only exception is Kirby, but I'm waiting for the new controller before I can play Kirby. I still. Oh, you don't tell me that. That's crazy. There's so much more left. <laughs> oh shit. You know, I can still hardly believe it. 
Believe what? I mean, just look at it. At least I know I have a lot of time to get back crammed into a like tiny frame. Feel it, you feel it again. I guess you're right. It does look more like a painting than a living, breathing world. From up here, all the struggles we've been through feel so insignificant. Nothing like realizing how small you are to put everything into perspective. Kind of makes the differences between the Renans and the Danans feel pretty small too, huh? How much longer until we reach? What do you mean he gets? Oh no! There are better ways to use your time than napping. We should take a moment to familiarize oh, ourselves with the facilities on board before arrival. Good idea. The starship may end up serving as our base of operations once we're down there. Think you'll be all right with the controls? You know, you think they'd be talking more you about the, the fact that they're in space. Automatic pilot. I dare say I'll manage. I'm basically just here to supervise. In that case, she's all yours. Everything okay, Shion? Oh, okay. You seem a little different. Different? Like in a bad way different? No, not at all. You seem more driven lately, like you found a zest for life. It suits you. Stuff. Closer. Yeah. I said the same thing in the beginning. I think, like, if I'm in a spot where I'm where it's already too difficult, I think I'm just gonna have to like deal with it and just abuse the loading system to just load the game and figure stuff out while I die multiple times or something. You're dating. What's got Law all flustered? Only that he's afraid of flying, the big oh. baby. And after all that fuss he made about naming the ship, too. Hey, I never said I was scared. I just think it's, you know, a little unsettling how we're going to be cruising through space in a glorified tin can. That's all. It's a starship, dummy. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't think there's anything strange about it. Well, maybe you're the one with the problem, then. Guys, guys. I'm no expert, but I think we can trust Ren and technology. It got me to Dana in one piece, remember? Oh, that's a good point. If you think so, Alfin, it must be okay. Don't you agree, Law? Hard to argue with that, seeing how you hitched a ride in one of these things before, Alfin. It's just wrong, okay? I do like these types of skits, though. I don't mind if they probably bring back this way of doing skits um, in future games, but I feel like because of the way that they have to do these skits, you won't get as many. Because of all the animation or animating that they have to do. It's probably not too much. I, I mean, you could tell that there's a lot of like reused animations for a lot of stuff, but... Yeah. But, you know, I'll always have a special place with the moving PNGs. So, whichever way they decide to go about it, I don't think I'll mind either either of the two. Who else do we have? We have... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Who the hell was the 6th party member? Okay, Kisara. We she all the way back here? Oh shit. You okay? Feeling airsick? Actually, now that you mention it, not at all. These starships are a remarkably smooth ride, all things considered. Nothing like being at sea, <laughs> thank goodness. Glad to hear it. That device there caught your eye, huh? I was just wondering what it is. It looks big enough to fit a person inside of it. It's a healing pot. It fixes injuries and illnesses. Oh, you don't say. Free heals? That should definitely come in handy if any of us get injured while we're down there. <sighs> Alfin? Was it a random magical store in no, this uh, I, ship too, like in every other tale? I was just thinking back to when I escaped Lenigus, that's all. What with the ceremony and losing control, I was a total mess. Naori laid me inside here. So, you're saying you got in this thing straight after escaping? But that mean... You were inside for 300 years? Yes, it sounds crazy, I know. But, 
Don't even ask me why I stayed asleep all that time. That's it's definitely really quite right. some lion, all right. Some people like to but sleep still, through it. It's fine. Whether you meant to or not, I sure am glad that it's this century that you finally woke up in. What do you mean? With the amount of fighting we've done, we would have never made it this far without you. And not only that, but... Alfin, can you recall back to what it is that I said to you? Back when we left Menencia? About the dream of coexistence and needing to learn what it entailed? Of course. That's why you came with us, right? To learn what you couldn't at home. Even in that time, I was well aware that what I was living was a lie. But at the same time, I also felt really compelled to fulfill my brother's wishes. I'll always remember him fondly. But the coexistence we're fighting for isn't for him. It's for people now, and those still to come. The world's bigger than just men and Sia. My dream is for all Danans, wherever they might be, to be free. If I've learned anything on this journey, it's that. And the one who brought me along was you, Alfin. I'll forever be grateful to you. Well, we're not out of this forest just yet. You should probably save your thanks. At least, until we've dealt with the Red Woman. I know. But whatever we find when we get down there... Kisara, that whole last speech you couldn't even way. say thanks, goddamn. Kisara... Probably getting a little ahead of myself, huh? Let's take things one step at a time. Healing pot. Okay, convenient that there's exactly six of them when we're a party of six people, don't you think? They talk to these guys over there. Oh yeah, there's a jump button. Oh shit, I forgot about that. I this I feel really cramped in this fucking ship thing then. I don't like the camera I'll so be close going to. to soon. This must feel like a homecoming of sorts to you, huh? What was life on Lenegas like back then? You know, before you came to Dana. Let's just say I don't have many happy memories. I've had thorns my whole life. For as long as I can remember. They called it treatment, but in truth, they were just using me as a guinea pig for their research. You mean, they experimented on you? That's right. All I was to them was a riddle to solve. They poked and prodded me, trying to figure out what triggered my thorns or changed the form they took. Day in and day out, every single day, one test after another. I'm still surprised they didn't try to dissect me. The look they gave me whenever one of them touched my skin. How could I forget it? Reeling from the pain, like I was a monster or something. Some existence, huh? A blight on any I touched, helplessly complicit in their pain. I thought things couldn't get any worse, but then they did. I started to have nightmares, visions of the coming apocalypse. <sighs> Is it any wonder I lacked a cheery disposition? Unable to so much as touch another soul. Loneliness was my best friend. Dude, look how sure fucking survived, deep these skits are getting. But meanwhile, Rinwell and Law get like some shitty fucking argument about the ship flying if in space. If I was going to die, then it should mean something. <laughs> what the fuck? If I have to sacrifice myself to save the world, so be it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you relive that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm in a much better place now. You say it's your destiny to die so that others can live. But why not the other way around? Why shouldn't we be the ones dying to save you? Uh, are you crazy? Why would you sacrifice your life for... That's exactly my point. Why should you have to give up your life just because you drew the short straw in the destiny stakes? How is that even right? It's that logic that's used to justify slavery. As if some of us were just meant to be sacrificed. Or... This struggle was never about saving only ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have to give up our own lives to save everyone else's either. If we're doing this to protect people, if we're doing this to save the world from destruction, then that has to include saving each other as well. A world free of sacrifice. 
That's what you've been fighting for all along, isn't it? Not just me. We're in this together, remember? This fight is yours too, Xion. If we're going to win, everyone has to win. There can be no room for losers in this fight. Now I see it. The true nature of our struggle. Does a a victory without losers. But that means that a Danon victory over Rena can't be the end. Do you think we can pull it off? Is the RPG we anything can happen? Off. We have to. It's the only hope we have of things ever changing. Yeah, you're right. No one's ever changed the future without aiming for the stars. We can do this together. All right. Dolahin? Dohalin? Dolahin? Is something wrong? Dohain? No. I was merely thinking how it had been seven years. That's all. Hmm? You mean since you became a lord and left Lenegas? I guess even someone like you can get homesick, huh? I am as prone to sentimentality as any other. Tell me, though. You too have a history with Lenegas. A traumatic one, no less. This trip will probably mean facing up to some difficult emotions. Doesn't that frighten you? Well, it is a place where I took the lives of countless people. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. But I can't keep running forever. The past is what it is. There's no changing that. But the future's what we make it. I see. Dohalim? Forgive me. Uh -huh. I was wrong to pry. We have more pressing matters to address. Come back and speak to me when you finish looking around the ship. I done did all that already, buddy. Is there any secrets? Does that move? I think it's moving. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I've seen it. Do I? Is everyone about ready? We'll soon be making preparations to land. Before we do that, just what exactly should we expect when we get down there? Kisara has a point. Now that I think of it, I don't know the first thing about Lenigus. I'd like to hear more too. It's been centuries since I was last there, and they didn't exactly give me the grand tour. Very well. First and foremost, Lenigus is... was the base of operations in charge of the crown contest on Dana. Of course, it also happens to be a city in its own right, complete with its own independent society. Its social so structure like is based planet, on or? a strict hierarchy. Put simply, the strength of an individual's astral arts carries great weight. Enough to determine someone's social rank, you mean? But astral arts are innate, right? So people's positions are fixed at birth. They can be honed with the right training, and there are admittedly other factors at play. But yes, that's basically the gist. Hey, that's as a result, family the same concept in one of my stories that nobody influence. will ever read because I'll never publish them. lineages are treated as nobility. Those capable of only weak astral arts are effectively an underclass, denied the right to descend to Dana even if they wanted to. Still, even the lowest rung on the Renan ladder is considered superior to being a Danan. Keep that in mind down there. Thanks for the warning. As a lord, Dohalim must have been pretty high up in the pecking order, right? What about you, Xion? Come on, you've seen her skill with astral arts. You really need to ask? <laughs> Fair point. On arts alone, you're right. I'd have been sitting pretty. But you're forgetting my thorns. They weren't exactly an invitation to high society. Ah, uh, sorry. It's no, a very it's weird fine. long pause. It's refreshing to be around someone who says what they're thinking. Life's less complicated that way. Jeez, give backhanded compliments much? Wait a second. Are you? He is! Lost blushing! I am not! <laughs> of course, separating people into castes based on something arbitrary like arts is discrimination at its worst. As if such simplistic criteria could ever be a measure of someone's worth. So this red woman, are we expecting to find her on Lenigus? I would wager so. 
Lenigus is too deeply involved in all this to discard the possibility. Chances are she's also connected to the Renis Alma being stolen from us in Pelegian. If the Renis Alma is being used to exploit Dana, we need to take it back at all costs. That's the super ball from the all the Red balls you've got. Got a lot to, to answer for. Renis Just Alma. as well, I've got a ton of questions. We're about to land. The descent could be a little bumpy, so brace yourselves. If there are clues about your thorns out there, Shion, we'll find them. Makatsu? Anime? Oh, we're landing on that thing. I thought we were landing on the planet. Oh, shit. So that huge fucking thing is one big city. No, that can't be right. That whole thing? No way. It has to be like a ship or something. There's no one here. This fucking I music again. I don't miss this song. <laughs> Lenigus's infrastructure is largely automated. Besides, people won't be expecting incoming traffic while the crown contest is still underway. It was like a wall ship. Do you think anyone realizes that we're here? We may not have received a royal welcome, but I doubt our entrance went unnoticed. Don't let your guard down. I really hope we don't have to fight anybody while we're here. Oh, come on. You know that's gonna happen. You hear the so music? That's what? dungeon music. We've come all this way on a hunch that this red woman is here, right? And if we're lucky, the Renis Alma too. Any idea where we should start looking? There is an area of the city that is accessible only to the Sovereigns, known as the Forbidden Zone. That seems as good a place as any for us to start. Forbidden? What are they hiding? I don't know, hence my desire to find out. Fortunately, we just so happen to have a Sovereign in our midst. It's a me. In any case, changing the shape of a huge structure such as Lenigus would have required an immense source of power. Then you think that source might have been the Renis Alma? Precisely. Alfin said that he remembered the Renis Alma being used in the spirit channeling ceremony three centuries ago. Whatever the ceremony's purpose, if preparations are underway for it to be held once more, then the Renis Alma might be in the same place as last time, possibly together with the Red Woman. Hiding something of that worth in the residential quarters would only court trouble. In which case... It stands to reason we should be looking somewhere normally out of bounds. Is that it? Indeed. But it's been over 300 years since I was made a Sovereign. You can't seriously think I'll be able to waltz right into the place after all this time. There's only one way to find out. If there's even a chance you can get us in, I say we give it a shot. Xion's right. Who knows? We might even find a clue to her thorns while we're at it. All right. It's not like we're swimming in leads, so let's try to track down the Forbidden Zone. Beyond that wall lies a city full of Renans. The capital city where Shion and Dohalim used to live, no less. Who knows what we'll find on the other side. The bass is tickling my ears. It's a little background noise. Thinking about what could be lurking out here is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. For such a loudmouth, you sure can be a worry word at times. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me for wanting us to stay safe. Would you two children stop squabbling? Or do you want everyone to know we're here? <sighs> so how many Renans actually live in this place? I couldn't tell you exactly, though not as many as you might expect. Machines and Zoogles take care of most of the city's basic functions. There's Zoogles out here too, huh? 
Sounds like we can't afford to let our guard down after all. T. Dude, I don't even know how to attack. What's the attack button again? I'll figure it out when we get in the fight. What happened here? This place is ruined. It's a cool city. What in the world? This being Renan territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? When Lenigus changed shape, it must have had an effect on the interior too. Maybe when they sent the wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dohalim? Is that you? Dohalim? Avakir, I'm glad to see you around. Okay. <laughs> so it is you! What are the but chances? Why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana people. then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Hey, Dohalim. Don't tell me you've started keeping company with- They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so it's far... Anyways. Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? Trust me. The less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. <laughs> I wish I could help. But what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... I can well imagine. You're gonna get more Dolahim boxes? Do 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 pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Do? Do. What do you mean? So we better start Barry? getting more backstory. Why? Why? <laughs> Just pops the question. <laughs> if what Avakir said is true, it would seem I actually did not Lenigus expect that. Kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. <laughs> they seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. Well, it gives While we're at shits, it, we man. can ask them about the Red Woman too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Let's leave the talking to Xion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. 
I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. The Danans among us should probably keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? Yes. What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful lot of questions to answer. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like from the right looks, trick. We they must all be siphoning off astral energy from Dana, and then sending it to Rena. I mean, nothing what about her, but we can assume that she was more? most likely some kind of they can't be using all that energy for the crown villain or something that just Whatever has no care is. for either side. Disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still um, don't know what their end game is. There might be more right. new we characters that's going to pop in. Ever again. This forbidden zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving! You heard him. We don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. Let's get moving. Oh, muskets. So, I've been wondering, do you think when Lenigus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? What do you mean? Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration. To avoid all this chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? I guess that means Lenigus has a bigger past weird, huh? than most people on the planet. <laughs> Not at all. The city Sometimes knows about Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This place is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. Yeah, you're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. That seems to be the case. I think this place was originally probably built. Origi it was originally built to be something else, and then once the purpose of that was no longer necessary, then it changed into just be a city for people to live in. And I guess over time, it just you know. It lost its meaning to the point where nobody would know about all the secrets behind the inner workings of the construction. So thanks to everyone you need him. So jump to conclusions now. I'm sure there's a reason he hasn't appeared yet. Let's simply give it time. The oh, fuck chest just faded away. I just went for a walk, but now I don't know where I am. I don't know, everything's falling apart. It's completely different. I can't get around mother and father either. But nothing to fear, kids. I'm sure there's a reason for everything that's going on. Maybe the Zeus are running these. It seems dangerous. Yes, sir. They may have gone now, but I'll show you, but I'll have them back under control before long. You kids consider yourselves to be proud runnings and be brave. We'll have the situation fixed before we know it. I forgot about this. Oh boy. Do I just get a random recipe? Okay. Everything will be okay now. I know the basics of healing arts, but my skills pale in comparison. Your lordship. Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet you. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? It's you! All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. 
Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? Never mind. Forget I asked. Sorry to take up your time. He's in a whole less destroyed town and he's just thinking about the crown contest. Serving the resistance quarter, there are lots of injuries. Stuff keeps dropping on people, and they're also falling. Sparks. Oh dear me! What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zugals have stopped heeding our commands. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my <laughs> eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believe he was on Dana. Their eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, first Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit, the Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. So I, I'm guessing whatever happened here is extremely recent, like just before we got here, and not like days before or something. Before. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Step this the but they bolted for the horizon. Well, this has never happened before. We have to put the crank out the same pole. We can't carry it on all things like this. Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new oh. route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Dohalim Ilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Oh, yes. That's strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. 
We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Well, we've canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. <clears throat> You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah. That one guy even said Zugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenegus? The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenegus. Without the lords or anyone in the okay, middle, okay. The, no, the planet is Rena. Isn't Rena the same is the, size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenegus alone would be difficult enough. So Lenegus is the little space out. station outside well, I confess, of. I'd never Ren given it much thought before. Here, the, the sovereign's the total planet. authority is as natural as night turning to day. <laughs> No, I never finished the game. <laughs> I know nothing of the nature of how Renan... And a huge ass I hate as well. Uh, I'm playing this, and then I finally came been... back. No, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? No, I haven't. Neither have Mental. I. Mental. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenicus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenicus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. What the fuck? But what about okay. trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenicus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenegus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the almighty Renan ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenegus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenegus. No. Oh. I just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. 300 years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. Just we never did that. see Volron's body back in Ganeth Haros. Oh. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could Shit, that be well, he's alive. All this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't well, I don't even know what happened the in the last Sama. fight or when the we fought him. The red woman stole. There's something else. So he the probably is still alive for all I know. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me. Questions. So that means questions the red girl could be the maiden. More questions. But she has a renaissance so I that, that would make her the maiden. Until we can establish the sovereign's identity. If the forbidden zone really is off limits to everyone but the sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. 
One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find yeah, I'm it. I'm glad you joined the game. I have my own like personal quarrels or inquiries about the game, but it's still a good game at the end of the day. Hold on, I'm gonna close my window so the door can be a little less noisy. dog will bark at the slightest sign of a living, living organism and go buck wild. Not only just a lot of video game left, so I think story-wise the game is not bad at all. Everything else is just, you know, as someone who's played all the other Tales games, it's still something that I, I can't say I'm going to get used to anytime soon, but it's not bad either. It's just too new for me. But story-wise, I, I like the game a lot. I, the story is completely fine for me. I have no problems with it. From what I remember, anyway. I didn't realize Ren and suppressed their own kind, too. And yet, weirdly, none of them seem to mind. Am I the only one who finds that strange? It's it is the way things thing. have always been, so no one thinks to question it. You have experience in that regard yourself, do you not? True. Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, that sounds about right. Even so, the quality of life here seems much higher than any Danon city we visited. I used to think it was impossible to build an ideal society without wealth. But I suppose having it doesn't always mean people are treated fairly, either. More to the point, not a single citizen seems to have even heard of the Red Woman. What if she's not here? What if it turns out we're looking in the wrong place entirely? It's still too early to say anything for sure. For all we know, she might be able to blend in, move around unnoticed. I say we hold off judgment until we've exhausted every avenue. Art of conversation. Ah, oh, Mr. Skit. With nobody left to run the show, I wonder what the people here are supposed to do. I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld, and all their lords were sent to Dana. But Dohalim was a lord, right? Only current acting lords have power. Renin society is quite strict about such matters. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be able to do much about the situation. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenigus now. Balsif, Ganabelt, Almadria, and Volron. Now that I think of it, Aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. Well, yeah, why would we? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. Nothing more. I know. But seeing Renans in their own city, going about their day-to-day -day lives, it gets you thinking. It feels strange to imagine the lords living here too, you mean? Yeah, a little. If you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of the locals? Every lord in their household has their share of supporters here on Lenigus. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more inclined to talk to us. Wait, did you just get a forced side quest? I mean, if we get to find out more about the, the people we fought, that's cool, but like, what the fuck did this come from? It's a little random. Tell me, Dohalim. Has that skill of yours got a name? There's a lot of talking, a lot of talking in this segment, this but I don't mind. I know a lot of other people will be you bored know, at this, but I don't mind it at all. Town, the way they suddenly become putty in your hands. It does a quicker job of giving me back I'm into the feel of the game, follow. so I, I don't mind it at all. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Look imposing and speak mm. in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. <laughs> Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? Can anyone do it? 
Now you've got me curious. Is there special training to master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old fashioned too. Bonus points if you speak in a way no one can understand. What? If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker <laughs> to just come out and say it. <laughs> what? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! What's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? He's trolling the shit out of the I can barely either. understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Oh my lord. Well, Tanks gives you played as Legenia, Symphonia. One and two in Abyss. Abyss. I mean, those are generally. Well, except for Legenia. Legenia is like one of the one off weird ones. That can be a bit of a, a bit of a controversial game to talk about with other fans, but um Yeah, those games give a pretty general good idea of what what the 3D Tales games people are used to are like. And then this one just goes out of like its comfort zone to do something different. And kind of just kind of revert back on certain systems which are a little weird to get used to. But I guess I can understand why they did it if they're going to change the dynamic of how battles work so much. Hmm? You know which lord I support? Why? Are you out canvassing for something? Something. Erwols. Erwolsi. Teldilis. Erwolsi. Tel Teldilis. You probably know him better as Boss. Motherfucker, what kind of name is that? Could you just, just say that? I know a lot of people consider him to be a giant brute, believe me, I realize he can be an aggressive man, but those don't realize how much he looks after the members of his house. It's true to say that House Tedilis doesn't enjoy much esteem. Those of us who serve it will be the first yes. to admit that. His Excellency always stands up against any who would mean us harm, and that we can be sure. His efforts in the crown contest aren't only for his family, but to improve the standing of each of every member yes. of his house. I love so much to His Excellency. I can never dream of serving any other lord. Yes! Balsef had it in him to care about someone other than himself? Oh, my alerts are really? off. But thank you for it's the possible. resubscription. A change in position can do much to the one's perspective. So even he might have had something he wanted to protect. Curious to learn. Wait, you can ask for more? What does that, what does that do? Oh, that just repeats what he said. Okay. Yeah, thank you, man. I've noticed I've had some subscribers for the amount of, you know, that huge ass time I did the stream, and I'm really thankful for that. But, you know, I, I don't really know what else to, like, do or say besides saying thank you, so... I try not to, like, put too much attention to it, but just know that I'm always thankful for the amount of support that you guys have been giving me. Regardless of whatever situation I might be in. <laughs> Karis, but more specifically his lordship person. So much so I've been trying to try and share but I've been trying to share my appreciation of worship to any who listen. Is there a missing word in this one guys? In fact I was planning to publish my extensive writings on the subject through his this very terminal for all to read and hmm. enjoy. This lines, but since the lines appear to be completely to sent tumult. I've been unable to upload them. It's been three months. I've taken long- really? I feel like this is the longest I've taken. I genuinely feel- I don't remember what was the last time I took a break that was really, really long like this. I feel like this was, might have been the longest one. I could be wrong.
<laughs> so most handsome man, a man who radiates beauty, whose every word, every syllable is divine poetry. He hails from the famed house Ilkaros. And his name, Lord Dorling. Music. <laughs> I can't go over Alphans like neutral face. Music is his passion, the arts his great love. Scores of boorish, uncouth men of this land cannot begin to compare to his magnificence. So refined and majestic is his posture, why the mere thought of it brings me to ecstasy. Oh my god. Once he begins our once he becomes our sovereign, Renner shall bloom anew, ushering in an era of prosperity for our grand civilization. Until that glorious day comes, I shall forever be praying for his victory, morning, noon, and night. Mm -hmm. What do you think, my lord? I poured my whole heart into it, hoping to capture your essence. Are we going to mention anything about his lordship's love for collecting things? <laughs> I must take this time while the lines are down to attend it. Maybe then I will my messages be complete. Okay. I guess she intended to spread it throughout all of Lenigus then. Good thing the lines were down so she couldn't. It almost sounded like she was praising them too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from commenting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, game. Well, I never. To think anyone would try to tear me away from House Vacuum. What? You want? When you tell me to work for Don't Let Me Trust for Lord of Nature, do you? You don't? You don't scare me like that. So it's your question. I'm a family that serve House Vacuum for generations. I'm doing like to support Gannibal behind the scenes so that he might emerge victorious. Many think him to be a cool man, but I insist. They're utterly mistaken. Mm -hmm. Though I won't deny he can be strict, he puts Rena's interests front and center like no one else. Why, he advocates that rather than to stay confined to Lenigus, we should get on with colonizing Dana and expand her horizons. That way we can become masters of both worlds and return our current minority status on Dana's surface. That is why he seeks to become our next sovereign. Tell me, is there a greater, more normal ambition than that? Mm -hmm. I think not. It's a pursuit of power for the advancement of all kind. It is what makes him an exemplary lord, a model of all others. Though I was unable to accompany him myself, my two sons have been blessed with the honor of joining him on the surface. <laughs> As their father fills me with endless pride. Are they dead? You think they're dead? Did you kill them? Ganabelt oh, crazy was so shit horrible there? to people. Yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, in my mind, while all lords vie to become the next sovereign, they're also meant to serve as guardians of all of Rena. It seems like Ganagald also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us Danans? It is what it is, Lord. There's more people over there. This area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed, the effects of Lenigus's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Or, viewed another way, this area was simply luckier. didn't have to repeat the same thing he said. He just said it with more words because it wasn't necessary. Pardon me. Was she angry? This area falls under the sole jurisdiction of House Kynaris. I must ask you to part at once. Surely you don't claim to be ignorant of a famed house ruled over by the esteemed Lord Almedia. 
I'm sorry if you didn't listen well. In fact, I bid you listen carefully regardless. If you've ever noticed how in the history of Lunagus only a few women boards have emerged to compete in a crown contest? Many have theories as to why this might be, but Lord Omnidra quashed the doubts of naysayers through sheer might. In fact, not only did she usurp her father and previous family master, she also removed her older brother to claim a seat for herself. Did she kill everybody? She, she is a woman who stops at nothing to get what she wants, who gives her enemies nary the slightest opening to strike. Truly, Lord Onidri is a woman of talent. No one in all of Rena better exemplifies the virtues of her nation's meritocracy. <laughs> Soon, the age of a glorious woman sovereign reigning over Linnaeus shall be upon us at last. It's like a Hillary Clinton moment. Her willingness to stoop to any love came from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief, but championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Too bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. Old man. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Loathsome. I was just reading about following. Okay. I, I was always an ardent supporter of Lord Eregu, the Hilders. A, a, a waggle. You waggle Hilders. Were it not for a sudden death down the surface, I likely still would be. My eyes, Lord, your raggle is the true water lord. I don't believe for a second that he perished in some accident like this, sir. As for how Volaran runs Ganateros, don't get me started. I hear you say it's not only Danas, but even his fellow Renans. We may live in a society where the, where the victor goes to spoils, but his actions go against what we as people stand for. Besides, just what sort of family line is this cow's ignorancy? Ignorancy? No, he's anyway. I'd never heard of it until he came along, which means they must have been among the lowest dregs of society. If such an ignoble lineage could suddenly produce an actual artist capable of ascending to lordship is unheard of. None of it makes any sense, not to mention all of the upheaval of our tier plate. What is happening to our people? So he's some like dude that just showed up. Don't really know much about Volron either. I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of the of Heros changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see them differently than the rest of us. Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders, carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces, and nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's what makes them the guardians of all of Renan, so to speak. Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt went after you. Because we're threats to Rena. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others, they all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went it's through life. Picture. Yeah, but still. Just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters either. They were individuals, just like the rest of us. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. Even if they did terrible things, they were still just people. Renwell. Am I wrong? 
Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't She's make you a good person. And being a Renin doesn't make you a bad one. I think that's something we've all seen. Shion and Dohalim definitely make a good case for it. And I'm going to keep doing my best to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human being above all else. Alright, this is free rewards, so I'll take those. Alright, SP. We got a lot. Never mind, it's not a lot. <laughs> The recorder is completely ruined. The wizard are messed, we can't get any help. The info terminals have gone dead too. We can't get any contact with the fellow around here. We're probably dead now. Maybe the server is aware of what's going on. It's a big ass open field. Are there any chests here? Father, what's going on? I'm scared. I'm not sure, son. I'm never in all my years. I'm going to say something that's ever happened to anyone else. There's always been a decree before anything takes place. Not only was there none this time, but there's no support to see damage and injuries. That means there's something bad happening. It's possible. For now, I'll be just waiting for the best. Very good. Secret chest. Okay. What is this? There's something I just don't get. What is it? The crown contest itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? This is an expedition episode, In which though. Case, the current sovereign of this playthrough is no fighting. I have nothing to be worried contest. about. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? Hanfreaked Milgroth, the former who? lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Hanfreaked whatchamacallim, he's the <laughs> current ruler of Rena? The last I heard, yes. Though, admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming Sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the Sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenegus from the Motherland, Sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you as a little bit... odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by whom? And to what end? A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. True, but... Going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's mm. speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? Oh, quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. You and me both. Though we are Renin by blood, neither of us even knew that such a thing as a Dark Master Core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it then. Let's get a move on. The game is doing a lot to build up a lot of extra mystery, so I, I don't want to feel this way, but I'm, I'm getting a little worried that when they start to reach the point where they give answers, that it might end up being a little underwhelming. But it, it's doing a lot of building up right now. Because this is a whole new thing. This is like a whole new mystery that everybody's up 
dealing with right now. So I'm just I'm kind of wondering if they're going to end up doing too much or are they actually going to have a really good payoff at the end? Just slightly worried, but I don't think you know. Considering that I've heard there's a lot more of this left, that I don't have to be too worried without like staying lost for too long. I think like there's going to be enough of the game for me to find answers eventually. Maybe I don't know. I'm just stating my my worries right now in my current like where I currently am in the story. Could any of this happen for years? And I guess it was a bastion of order and stability. Where did it all go so wrong? Who knows, man? Oh. Oh shit. It's his wife. Isn't that the person that Avakir guy was? Shh. But why are you here? Wait. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Nothing to say? Even though you were willing to kill Tarnigan to secure your position as Lord, you still... Kill? I'm here to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until I'm finished. Oh, of course. You always did prefer to take the coward's way out. Even after seven years and living on that Dan and Rock, you haven't changed one bit. But let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. If killing me will bring you peace, then so be it. <laughs> Dohalim, what the hell are you saying? First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek, I will grant you it. But you must wait. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. The fuck is happening? Sure, that's it. Run away like always. You don't even have the courage to die. No wonder you leave it to someone else. You're just a coward! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Dohalim. I apologize that you had to witness that. Is it true? What she said about you killing someone? Each of us have our pasts. I am no exception. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Is that what she meant? The All mistakes right, I that made guy. there were not my first and may not be my last. I will say no more. Did you mean what you said? I forgot about, about letting that. her take your life if she wanted to. She has more right to my life than anyone. But you can't just... Whatever happens, I have sworn to put an end to the crown contest and to ensure continued coexistence in Menencia. I have no intention of expiring before I do so. There are far too many questions I still seek answers to. Besides, you have just as much reason to kill me as she does. <laughs> Dohalim! Oh, wow. Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Why are you asking me to wear fucking shades? I want to see the game. They get the fleeing while there are kids out there fighting. There's no need to worry about them. They come from a higher rank than the others. That makes their astral stronger than ours. They're simply fulfilling their duty to society as members of the ruling league. I know, but it still doesn't sit right there. This guy's going nuts. Oh shit. They're like fighting. Oh 
Okay. Look how the monsters just don't give a shit. So the creepy lady is here. We the player knows. They don't know. For all they know, she might not even be here. But we know that the creepy lady knows that the cast is here. It also might still help support that she's the one behind like the town going kablooey. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where the game is going right now. I'm, I'm still pretty lost, but I think they're still trying to build shit up right now with all that's happening. This is crazy how long is this going to keep on? And I don't know. Normally we would have had orders from the top brass informing all the separate classes what they need to do. I doubt that's happening. The whole chain of command in the city seems like it's broken down. Nobody knows what's happening. That doesn't mean someone somewhere isn't watching or every move. For now we should see if there's anyone higher ranking around here. Maybe they'll have an idea of what we should be doing. Cut off commuter gate. Cut off commuter gate. Tofu. Eating pen is in bad shape. Who knows how many people have died? What happened to the Zubos? Ain't somebody broke out. No, luckily we were able to seal them up before they got too far. Not that it does much good when they've escaped out of the district too. If I had to guess, I'd say there are a lot of Zubos running around. When the blues throughout them, I guess. There are a lot more of them than us, too. What are we going to do? A lot of our best soldiers are stationed down in Dan. some sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. You think? Man, these Renin sure know how to live it up, don't they? <sighs> it, is something the matter, Dohalim? Before I went down to Dana, my friends and I, we... we used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Avakir, Faria, and Tarnigan. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago now. Tarnigan. He was the one that Faria mentioned, right? He was once my dearest, closest friend. <sighs> as well as Faria's betrothed. <sighs> Despite Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. Entranced by her playing, I helped her overcome her sense of inferiority and introduced her to Tarnigan and Avakir. It was a time of great joy. Four people bound only by their love of music, with no care for social standing. Only the next song, the next melody. Did they all play the same instrument? A friendship based on mutual respect. In a society where everyone is a prisoner to their social class. Fuck. You really are different, Dohalim. I suppose I could it's have start a band, you know, you playing the same instrument. I would have, once. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. And even then, it only lasted until the crown contest began. 
After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors for the position of Lord. Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins and raise her to the highest echelons of society. But fate was not so benevolent. What happened? Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. Good buddy. On a level playing field, he wouldn't have stood a chance. But he was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You mean he resorted to dirty tactics to try to win, right? But then why does Faria think... Wait, don't tell me she doesn't know. How could I tell her? Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved, and by her friend's hand, no less, she would have been devastated. So instead you let her go on hating you, so she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? <laughs> That's not the same as running away, though. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty, instead I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. The Danans there would still be suffering under Renan oppression like before. <sighs> Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm here today. So, try not to blame yourself. The burden you've placed on your own shoulders is too much for anyone to bear. Frank as always. But I shall do my best to heed your advice. Do you think he'll be all right? Yeah, I think so. He's got Kisara. It's important to have someone like that. I didn't realize how difficult it is just to be there for someone. Sometimes just knowing someone's on your side can be enough. And he knows, Shion. I promise he does. Yeah, because of his past, he ended up becoming right. one of the most annoying bosses to fight. So, uh, you know, there's that. Uh... Well, you just stalk at people. What the f Alfin. Okay. Yeah? I never appreciated until recently just how much you were always there to support me. It goes both ways. You've helped me keep going more times than I can count. Maybe. But I still wanted to say thank you. Dude, Dohalim is such a Sigma male, he ended up inadvertently wingmanning one of his best friends to end up getting a wife and then he fucking murders him. That's the real Sigma male shit right there. Getting into conspiracy theories. You're probably get seven. Let's start to see one way or another. Nothing like this has ever happened. Is there one I guess? Which is too little. Everybody's trying to brainstorm right now. What's going on? I think they don't, cal don't calm down soon. Do you think we should board the starship so we can evacuate? Where the fuck are you gonna go? So I was the starship. But where's the sovereign? Why is any other leaders in our time of need? You don't exist. It's not real. Yeah, there's a shop. I see a medic and supply officer over there. 
If they know you're with me, they'll likely offer their assistance. No secret chests. Okay. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Reminds the sea moves my shop and blessed with do low dopaminous serpents. Is there anything I can help you with? Okay, well, we don't need to buy anything. But we got a little bit of money, right? Yeah. We can only forge. This shit looks pretty cool. I don't think it's a good idea to try to make any new weapons right now. I definitely don't have the money for that. If I do, it's only going to be for one character. So we're at a point in the game where they they not they not joke it around anymore. Five hundred for a fucking apple gel. You gotta be out of your goddamn mind. Just lost all my money. Got new armor for everybody too. Oh boy. I didn't mean to do that. But was that all I could get? You can never be too prepared. But did we have to spend so much? Yeah, I get it. Is this free? Wait, do we have food on us already? I forgot. Do we have? No, we don't. I don't. I would not know what we would need. Sister, dark mark. Speed boost. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. I just realized it's been so long since I saved. Um, there's been a lot of talking so far. I feel like I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer and then I'll stop because I want to at least make sure we're done with this whole section so we don't have to worry about too much like cutscenes and stuff anymore. Now. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're, we're, we're past that. Okay, what I'm going to do is that I'll probably stop the stream here, so we could just have this section isolated into like this one whole expedition cutscene thing, and then the next time I play is when we could get into like the fighting and stuff. Maybe I, I have to think about this. This looks like a fucking dungeon. Like 
like this particular spot right here. Yeah, I, I think I'll keep it short for now, especially because like, you know, the stream is still pretty unstable and I don't like it to be that way. So I want to keep my, my streams pretty short. Um, but that's okay. I think I have plans for tomorrow as well. I th I'm going to have some... Uh, tomorrow's Friday, right? I'm going to have some juicy content for tomorrow. So I think we should be good. Yeah, I'm going to stop it here. Um, anybody who was bored while they were watching, I'm sorry for that. But I think I kind of needed this just to kind of like refresh my memory of the story at least. And then the next time I come back to this game, which will not be too long, I think maybe Saturday or something, maybe even tomorrow I might come back and play this. Most likely not, but if not, then Saturday I might come back to this. And, you know, you get to see me die a lot. So look forward to that if you are um, if you want to watch me play this again. And I guess just thanks for hanging out, like trying to like refresh. Keep me company while I refresh my memory in this game. Yeah, so for now, I'll keep it short and end it here. Um, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, go ahead and find a different stream that will be a little bit more exciting than this one. You've, you've got the, uh, the more chill side of things, and now if you want, you can find something else that has a little bit more energy to it. But I'm going to keep it short today. I don't think I'm going to play anything else or like switch to any other segment or like do just chatting right now. I'd rather just um, keep it short. But... Um, yeah, so that'll be it for me. I'll try not to extend my, my goodbyes. To like 10 minutes like i did last time so I'll go ahead and say goodbye to like the recording you know take care see you again in the next part and um look forward to me dying a lot so uh, have a good one